Excel VBA is amazing, but so many people struggle to write VBA code that works. If you're one of those people, I want to show you how ChatGPT can automate coding tasks for you. So all you need to do is copy and paste the results. We'll find out exactly how to get started and how to make advanced code feel easy. To get started, make sure you go to chatgpt.com. You can log in and sign up and it's free to use. If you're not sure how to make this work, you can even ask and it will give you instructions. So there's a free tier and a plus tier. I'm in the plus at the moment. It's perfectly fine to try this for free and it will still work for your coding. There's also the option to download the ChatGPT app either on mobile or on desktop. And I really like using the desktop version. At the moment, it's in an early version for Windows, but it's pretty neat. So I recommend you download the ChatGPT app for Windows or Mac if you use that. Now that you have access to ChatGPT, let's use it to create some VBA code. So I have this workbook with eight different images inside it. And I want to be able to reposition all of these images the same place on each worksheet, but without having to move them manually by hand like this. So this is a good chance to see if ChatGPT can do the job. Here I'm in the Windows ChatGPT app. I'm going to paste my prompt here and then hit this button to send it up. So it's going to create the VBA code. It's called a subroutine resize pictures to match selected. And it's running at a pretty decent speed and it's finished. Just close that window. Now before I go and copy the code to test it, I'm going to head back into Excel. We need to activate something called the developer tab. So head up to the ribbon and right click any of the menus. Then click on customize the ribbon. Now look on the right where it says developer. There's a little white box next to that word. Click on it and it will turn green with a little check mark inside. Now click on OK. Up here you'll see there's a developer tab. Click that and head to the left where it says Visual Basic. Click that to open the Visual Basic editor. Now we'll need a home for the code. So I'm going to right click on Microsoft Excel objects and hover over insert then click on module. Now we can head back to ChatGPT and copy the code up here. Press that button. It says it's copied. Head back into the Visual Basic editor and paste the code. Now for the moment of truth, we'll see if the VBA code actually works. First, we'll see what happens when we run this subroutine just like this without selecting a picture first. So it tells us, please select a picture first and then run the macro. So that's good. We'll click OK. So we're going to select this picture and I want to fit it into this space here. I'll head back into the Visual Basic Editor and run this subroutine again. And it says all pictures have been resized and positioned to match the selected picture. Let's check if that's actually true. So we head into two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And look, all of the pictures have been resized to match both the position and the size. Let's try that again and reposition this one. Let's try over here, something like this. Let's try, let's try compressing them. I'll head back to the Visual Basic Editor and run this sub. Click OK. What's happened to the images? Oh, they've all been resized and repositioned. Look at that. So I've now reverted to a previously saved version because I forgot to ask it to save the aspect ratio so their widths and heights changed. But now what I'd like to do is try to randomize the positioning of the pictures. So back in ChatGPT, I'm starting a new chat. Let me try a different kind of prompt. So I'm going to ask it to create a subroutine called pick underscore random. It's going to loop through all the worksheets in the active workbook and on each worksheet it's going to reposition all the pictures randomly so they fit between the cells A1 and B29. So let's see what happens when I click this button. So there we go, it's writing. Slightly slower than before. Maybe it's feeling a bit tired today. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Okay, it's going on. All right, there we go. Copy this code into a VBA module. So we'll do that because we already have one. And to go to developer and visual basic in this module one, I'm going to go to the end and paste here. So that's the new subroutine. Let's test it out. I'm going to click on run. Pictures repositioned and resized successfully. Click OK. And let's see what it actually did. So I'm going to go through each of the sheets. And they are indeed randomly positioned. So as someone who likes Excel, I don't like things randomly positioned. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it can create some VBA code to put all the images back into A1. So they're all nicely organized. So heading back to this chat, I'm going to go down here and message ChatGPT with something else. So I want to create a VBA subroutine called 
pick underscore reset. So this will do all the resetting to cell A1 and making sure that each picture fits the width of the columns A to L. So we'll proceed and see what happens. It says here's the VBA subroutine as requested. Writing, writing, writing. Okay, I can scroll down, watch it write the code. And he's even doing a message box at the end. So there we go, let's copy this code back into Excel and put it down at the bottom of this subroutine. Pick underscore reset. Let's head back to Excel, so Alt F11 and Alt F11 again. Let us now press run. All pictures have been moved and resized successfully. Well, it didn't quite work because I wanted it to be resized so that the pictures would be done like this from A to L. So there's something obviously wrong with the code. Let's have a look inside. Right, I can see what it's doing. It's li literally taking my instructions to put everything into cell A1. I actually meant for it to be top left corner in A1, but it's actually squished everything into the range A1. So let me get rid of this line and I'm gonna do some further edit, bear with me. And now we'll try this again and it should all work. All pictures have been moved and resized successfully, click OK. Let's have a look if they have been. Ah, they have been. However, they've also lost the, the um, resolution because they've been resized previously. Okay, so I've reverted to an existing previously saved backup copy. So all the images are back up to the original resolution. And now we'll head into the VBA editor. I just changed the name of the top subroutine. So it says now pick underscore match underscore selected. And what we'll do is one more thing. What I want to do is add some buttons up there in the Excel ribbon so that we can click those buttons to run the macros automatically without having to go backwards and forwards to the Visual Basic Editor. How do we do that? First, we need something called the Personal Macro Workbook. Think of it like your code vault that you can store your own personal macros in. Simple to do this. Just click on this button down here, which is to record a macro and choose to store it in the Personal Macro Workbook. Click OK. Then immediately press this square to stop recording. And then we'll head back to developer and click on Visual Basic. What you'll see in here is if we scroll up, there's a new module in a project called personal.xlsb. So this is the personal macro workbook and it's just been created for us. So right now we have one code module. We can just get rid of the macro one that we just recorded. We don't need that. And we can rename the module. So instead of module one, We'll call it something more descriptive, like pictures. Now all that's left to do is go down to our original module with the macros that we got ChatGPT to write and copy them all. Select that, press Control C to copy, then go back up to the pictures module inside the personal macro workbook and then we'll paste with Control V. Scroll up to the top. So what that's done is copied all the macros we had ChatGPT write, and you can see that there's pick match selected, pick random, and pick reset. Now let's go and add our buttons. So go back into Excel, right click somewhere on the ribbon, click on customize the ribbon, then choose from commands from macros. And so we need a new group inside the developer tab. So I'll click that first, then click on new group, this group, I actually want it a bit higher up. Let's move it to just after the add-ins. Click on the group, rename it, or we'll choose pictures and click OK. Now with this selected, I'm gonna add each of the macros that we have in the personal macro workbook, like so. And they're here, you can reorganize them with the arrows, but they're in a good position for us. And I'll rename each one. This one I'll call match and use this icon. Click OK. Second one, we'll rename as random and we'll choose another icon. Let's choose this one. Click OK. And the last one, we'll rename as reset. And I'll choose this icon. Click OK. Now when I click OK, we'll see some new buttons up here. So let's test this out. I'll move this to the middle. Click on match and we'll see Yep, they've all been moved to the same position. Now I will click on random and we'll check. They've been moved to random positions. And now I'll click on reset and they've all been reset to original positions. 
We've seen how ChatGPT can write VBA code very fast, but if you don't actually know much about VBA, you won't be able to use it to its full potential. So as someone who's taught over 500 students how to use VBA for business automation, I know that it's much easier to learn the fundamentals by watching good tutorials, especially if you're just getting started or you've struggled with learning it in the past. So check out this video next to hear about my Excel VBA training program.